Hello, fellow barbecuers, and welcome to a special edition of Cutting Edge. Today we're going to do something truly awesome. We're going to spit roast a whole piglet, and that's the star of the show. Spring is here, Easter is coming up, and it's a big tradition in Greece to spit roast a whole lamb. But as he's Danish, we are going with the piglet instead. Tag along for the journey. First, we have to get our piglet fitted on our spit. And remember to put the first prongs on before, because otherwise you won't be able to do it. And this is quite a process to make sure that it's fitted correctly. Because once it's on the grill, we cannot redo anything on this. And then here, we need to put one in the center here. That looks good. And then one on the other end here. And then we need to center it. Perfect. Once you have your prongs in the end here and in the front, then we're going to take some metal twine to tie up the legs around the spit. And we need that to be good and tight so they don't move around while we're going to grill. Let me take a pair of pliers here. When we have the head secured with the feet like this on the spit, and the rear. Then we're gonna take one of these through the carcass to secure the spine to the spit. Ah, the skin is tough, but we will make it. There we are. And once this is secured, we can go on with the seasoning of our piglet. For the seasoning, first we are going to inject the hams with uh, salt water brine. I have here a liter of water with two tablespoons of rock salt dissolved. So we're going to give them a good injection to keep them moist and give them some saltiness. Inside the carcass, we are going to season with sea salt. And make sure to get it all in there and rub it in. And then we're going to give it some black pepper. Not a lot, but give it a couple of pinches. And then we will give it a good, generous uh, rosemary coating, let's say. That will give nice flavor. And finally, we're going to put in two apples cut in quarters. And once that is done, we're going to stitch it up so we close the belly again. Thank you. 
the outside we're not going to season yet. We're only going to give it a light coating of uh, olive oil. Later, while roasting, we will do some basting on the outside. Now we're ready to get it on the grill. I have the barbecue fired up with hardwood charcoal, which I'm going to slide to the back so I can get some indirect heat. Later I will add some more charcoal, but I will also add some briquettes uh, to this to mix it up a bit. They give higher heat, but the charcoal here from oak, they give better flavor. Now it's time to get it on. <clears throat> There we are, and let's start our rotisserie. And now we let it rotate there on indirect heat for the next hours to come. Our pig has been on the grill for one and a half hour now, and the skin is starting to crispen up nicely, so it's time for us to start making our baste. I have a cast iron pot and half a kilo of good butter. And then I have two tablespoons of fresh rosemary chopped and two tablespoons of sea salt. Going to leave it all in here. And then I'm going to place it in the grill next to the coal and let it start melting. Our butter is ready, so now it's time to start basting. Here we go. And you want to do this every half hour from here on. We are three and a half hours in and let's check the temperature on our hands. Let me see here what we have. Yeah, it's perfect. 58, 59 degrees. So now we want to take it on direct heat to crispen up the skin. Let me start it again. And then I'm going to remove our basting pan. I'm going to move our charcoal forwards to give direct heat so we can crispen up the skin. That will take probably half an hour, I would say. Looking good. Basically, our pig is done, but I want to move it down a notch so we can crisp it up and get the skin darker. So let's do this. <clears throat> down. Ah, okay, that was too much. Here we want to go. There. Let's get it started. And now we're going to give it five, maybe ten minutes, and then it will be nice and brown. Our piglet is ready and we want to give it a taste before the neighbors, they come storming in like a pack of wild dogs. It's actually legend, wait for it, dairy. Let's give this a try. Mm. Hmm. Succulent, perfect, so moist. That's like a bonbon. It's bonbon. It's excellent guys, give it a shot. <laughs> 